So to continue, I'm going to use the 635 and draw a little bit darker, I mean, uh, on her eyes. Just a little bit darker. And again, I'm trying not to draw it so dark. And I'd like you to um, um, practicing drawing eyes, okay? Uh, I'd like you to have time to draw um, an Asian eyes, Caucasian eye, uh, African American eyes, all different, okay? We're all different from each other. And you can see the structures and uh, the shape. So it's, it's good to learn. And I want to tell my student that you need to draw a hundred eyes before you can master it. If you can, uh, if you can find somebody pull for you, it's best. But if you can, if you cannot find somebody to pull for you and just take pictures of your own eyes. And again, go to the internet and searching for Asian eyes or any kind of eye to learn, okay? Darker here, shadow under her low li uh, lip. A little bit darker. I want you to think about values all the time, okay? Okay, so um, I'm pretty happy with the drawing now. Um, I think I'm gonna add some uh, some uh, highlights in it and see how it's go, okay? Put together hair a little bit first.
of them. Before I add uh, the highlights, I would add a little bit of uh, this color is uh, 722. It's a light gray. I'm gonna do some uh, cross hatching in the background. So I pop the face. Again, um, this is a concept of doing portrait uh, blending with uh, values. If you notice the technique we've been done in the classical art, and uh, you would understand what I'm doing here. Um, I do light, dark, light, dark, light. Okay, uh, very similar to what I just uh, uh, finished the uh, portrait, the copy of uh, Rembrandt's uh, portrait recently. And you all have um, um, a special code to download it for free. So don't forget, uh, you know, to watch it. It took me a lot of time for that video. So I hope you enjoy it, okay? I hope you spend some time and watching it. Okay, so let's put some highlights in her um, her face. Okay, so the color I'm using here is six six eighty one. Okay, I'm gonna start with uh, a little bit of highlight from the nail, very light touch. Very very light. I want to control the value, so I don't want you you a heavy pressure now. Okay, very very light touch. You can also use the technique here, light touch cross hatching. Very, very light touch. See that highlight too strong? Are you going to raise and go back with this color? Here is uh, 645. Tore it down.
I know it's we are very busy. Uh, you know, uh, people have to work. Uh, some um, of us have to go to school, have have a job to do, and uh, if you will, if you don't have time to do our entire uh, painting, uh, it's good to do something like this, and you can stop when you do with the highlight. Uh, at least you, and this is uh, still look pretty good. Um, for your family member, for your friends, and uh, but you have time. Uh, if you have time, if you have for my um, video, uh, how to use the green foundation, you can continue to add the colors in the face, you know. But I, I like you to work. I like you not just watching me. I like you to actually work. Because that's the only way to learn is doing it. That's okay. It's no matter um, how hard I try to teach, if you do nothing, then you can't learn anything and you're gonna waste your time watching this and waiting your money too. So I'd like you to actually work with me. Okay? And here I noticed that this side of the nose is a little bit small. So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, rounder. And very soft. Asian feature is uh, very soft. Uh, so uh, it's in just um, the nose is very round here, uh, cheekbone. Um, so pay attention to it. You can see I'm very patient right now. Very light touch.
just a little bit of fun in here. So before I uh, apply the green foundation, I decided to use black is the number 750 and dark brown 675 to go on top of the feature uh, of her um, face. Just slightly, not a lot, okay? Um, just go very, very slight touch. It's a very, very light touch here. And I don't want to make it too dark just yet. I just want to draw a little bit of black so it's easy for me to control the values later. You see her beautiful uh, dark brown eyes here. And this color is 635, dark brown. Very, very careful draw the outlines of the Irish. Very light touch. So now I'm going to start with the ring foundation. So I'm going to start with uh, the color here. This is light, light screen is 570. And I'm going to combine with the 575 to work on the skin tone here, okay? So I'm starting with the light screen first. The pressure here is very light. Light. You can see that.
I'm working on the highlight first. Then I'm gonna work in on the midtone. Then I'm gonna work in on the shadow. Now the pressure is between light and medium. Don't forget to add some uh, green on the lip too. So now I'm going to add the dark green 575 and walk along with it. So I'm start with the nose again. Thinking about form, thinking about uh, uh, shapes.
After I finish with the ring foundation, um, I using two colors in the same kind of uh, family. Uh, this one a little bit darker. Uh, this one a bit is a little bit lighter. The number is six eighty five. Again, the six eighty five, and this one is six fifteen. Uh, I'm gonna start from the highlight and the mid tone values, and I'm gonna use this one in the shadow. It's a very very light touch. All right, so just follow me, okay? Using the light color on top of the highlights of her nose. And when it's touching the, the shadow here and there, very, very light touch. I can go a little bit stronger where the highlight is, okay? You can use a cross-hatching technique like this. Changing direction. Or you can just use a tip of the pencil to do this. No, circular motion is work too. It depends on you, how you feel comfortable with the pencil, okay? But I prefer cross hatching better. Shadow area, come back with 615. Cross hatching. Now, this technique requires, you know, patience. At the beginning of this drawing, I thought I'm gonna do just a, a simple drawing for you guys to see how I how I do a, a drawing of a child. But then I thought this drawing start looking very good, so I want to add colors on it, and it could be a gift from my family, from my niece and nephew, uh, so you can see how I draw um, their children. Um, Actually, she's my grand niece. She is my uh, my nephew's uh, daughter, so she have to call me grand uncle. Oh my god, I feel so old right now. Right here, because it's more uh, highlights and mid-tone here, so I can use a stronger pressure, okay?
So I'm finished with the yellow ochre layer. <clears throat> and uh, the next layer is going to be uh, uh, this color. It's 642 and it causes a uh, kind of lavender kind of colors here. So uh, for this colors, I only go on the highlight, the mid-tone, and the shadow area. I'm going to use a very, very light touch, okay? So let's start. The pressure is light. And you can see how the color changing here. When I apply this color on top of the yellow, you can see how it turns your skin tone right away. You can see it's warm up and it looks like skin tone now. Um, let's start with this side of her face. In the shadow area here, very light touch. Very light touch. Just a little bit. And here I can go a little bit stronger in pressure. Make it a little bit stronger. Stop the line of the shadow here. Summon her lips. So I'm almost done with this layer, uh, lavender. In the shadow areas, very light touch, just like cross hatching. Big gaps in between the strokes. Because later on I'm gonna add like browns and umbers color on top of the shadow area. So I don't want to feel them, if you feel them like this, you ruin the surface of the paper. A very light touch right at this point. And you can see she no longer green and no longer yellow. Oh, she's breathing here. But she start to look like skin tone now. Okay. Light touch.
And uh, for the next color, the color I'm using is my favorite color. It's a uh, 680. This is 680 here. Uh, I'm starting with the highlight in the mid-tone and I'm not going to use this color in the shadow area. Zero. None. Okay? Just use them in... Um, uh, give me a second. Uh, let me take the pictures of it for reference first. Then I can continue. Only have the more sticks. I'm avoid not touching my finger. Uh, this summer is uh, a time, so it's kind of warm in my studio. Gotta be very careful. You can see how it's changing now. I can make the uh, the pressure a little bit stronger here. You can see her nose it starts popping out. It's still a uh, cross hatching, but I use uh, some very small chokes. And I think about form like a muscle here is in the top of her nose. You see that light here? It's too strong for children. So I make this light softer. Again, when you do a, a portrait of a child, all the features should be very, very soft, okay? I'm trying not to make it too, uh, too contrast or too strong. Contour, because if I do it, she might look a little bit older. Just soft all the light. Look at all the line here. Someone her lip too. Now I'm gonna make this a little bit stronger here. Soft the edges. So I almost done with uh, this layer of the color is uh, 680. Uh, I noticed uh, a few um, highlight need to be uh, bring back. So I may add some. Cheekbone, a little bit here and there. Bring the highlight back, okay?
part here. Try to soft on the line. Looking good. So then my next step is uh, temperatures. Um, temperature is mean I'm gonna add some more warmness, like the lips, the eyes, the top of the nose, the cheekbone. To make it a little bit warmer, okay. And uh, I I like this color is uh, 310. As uh, you can see, that's the colors in here. The 310 is the color red, uh, cadmium red. Uh, I also like another color is uh, a few color. Let me take a look in here. This color is more uh, um, uh, magenta, is a uh, 335. You can use this one too. And another color is, uh, not this one, sorry about that. Uh, I like this color is um, 645. Here you go, I see a few color is a warm brown color. So I'm gonna add some warmness in the face. Then I'm gonna redraw the face again, okay? Then we can have time to go for details. Um, first, I use this color is the 310. I'm gonna add the color on her nose. You can see how it look like right now. Just a very light touch on top of the nose, okay? Warm up her skin tone right away. How beautiful it is. Just a little bit on top of the nose. And I would like to use this on top of her eye. Her eyelid here, make it warmer. Changing the temperatures, the lower lid. You can see, right? She looks warmer, it's more natural now. Same thing in here. And darker, a little bit warm on top. The upper lid, the lower lid, okay? And uh, for her lips, uh, uh, I'm gonna add some red here for her. I use this color, again, the same color, 310. What I'm gonna mix with this color is uh, 335, a little more magenta. Just a little bit like that. Just a little bit warm it. You see. And in this side, I'm gonna add some of the 335 on her cheekbone. Let me do a little makeup for her. Same thing in here. Very light touch, okay? Very, very light touch. See right in the corners of her mouth. It's right here. 
guys in here that like light touch, very very light touch. To make the ear a little bit warmer. This color is like 80. I'm gonna go on top of this color so make it look better transition. Make this better transition. Soft the edges. Right. And this color here is 645. Uh, just the color I'm using for the when I start the drawing. I'm gonna add this back to the shadow a little bit, Let's make the shadow a little bit warmer. So what you see is uh, is now it's kind of ready for us to go for the redraw. Uh, what do you, what do I mean by redraw? Uh, because when I'm outline the colors, um, uh, sometimes the painting is uh, the original uh, drawing is kind of shifting here and there. So I'm gonna use uh, black uh, 750 to draw a little bit to make sure the original is still there. And also try to make the values a little bit darker. This eye should be a little bit darker in here. I want the, the mouth, the corner of the mouth a little bit darker. But I try avoid doing all the contour around her feature because if I do that she's gonna look older. Okay, so be careful with that. Make the corner a little bit darker.
kind of ready for me to go on the detail. Um, I would like to add a little bit of the colors of her uh, sweater. Symbol for now. And this color is 642. Just a little bit lighter here. All right, so the next step I'm gonna do is do the single details of all the features here. I know loves. And we're gonna finish this um, drawing in a couple hours.